Bracky didn't know we were going to do the Celebration Bowl, but surprise. It's in there now. Okay, what do you got? ready to rock. You want to do it? Oh, we're we'll doing that you. one first. We'll start with you, yeah. Uh, hang on, Bowl. i got to figure out where I put it in here. Oh, God. Uh, give me uh, North Carolina A&T. Uh, for 25 points. Whoa. 25? Lock it in. Whoa. Lock it in. What? <laughs> All right. Are you a fan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan of their work. Well, I didn't look at the <laughs> celebration, but I don't know, 25. <laughs> That's literally what I did. I just threw it in there. <laughs> okay. Hey, I like it. Yeah, I mean, I got North Carolina a also. They are the celebration bowl team. They are. That's their game. Yeah. They've won two out of the last three of them. So, make it three out of four. How confidence of seven. Ooh, you've been cheating on my notes. I you also have a confidence of seven wow. for NCAA wow. and T. Lamar Raynard and Elijah Bell have been cooking of late. Markel Cartwright is still one of the better backs in the country at that level. I feel like A and T rolls. Let's do it. Yeah. Twenty five points. Twenty five points. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, next up the New Mexico Bowl, North Texas and Utah State. What do you think, Michael? Um, I actually like uh North Texas to upset Utah State. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. This is one of those things, too. I think one of the big drivers for bowls is, yes, talent, yes, track record, but also motivation and where your coach is. So Utah State's coach went to Texas Tech. And actually, North Texas' coach was a big-time candidate for the Kansas State job. Yep. He just told the team that he's staying. You know, both teams can score a ton of points. I think Utah State's in the top five in the nation in scoring, but Texas Tech still in the top 40. I mean Texas State, so I like North Texas. I mean North Texas. I like their motivation to win. Confidence no of five, though. Well, I'm also on North Texas. I, I'm a big Mean Green fan. Uh, I feel like I drop a fun Mean Green stat about every time we do the show. I don't have any of those today, but Mason Fine's the man. Uh, Seth Luttrell, like you said, not going anywhere for at least another year. Mm -hmm. That's great for bowl prep. Obviously, nothing changes. They did lose Graham Harrell to North Carolina. Fake news. Which, yeah. Oh, fake news? Yeah, he stayed. Oh, well, I'm glad you're here. Uh-huh. Okay, so Graham Harrell's been there yeah. the whole time. So you had texted me about it the other night, and then right. like two hours later, Bruce Feldman's like, nah, he's not leaving. Oh, and should, then they just hired Bruce closer, um, I guess. North Carolina just hired uh, Phil Longo, the Ole Miss OC. Yeah, I saw mm -hmm. the Longo hire on the bottom line, but I thought maybe they were going to be co-OCs. Nah, Harrell's staying in Denton. Okay. So I have North Texas, too. Uh, wow. The... Coaching search there at Utah State apparently got really messy. Did it? Yeah. I thought they were just going to plug Gary Anderson back. Right. There. But apparently, like, the school didn't want that. And just a bunch of, like, big-name donors did and, like, threatened to pull money. Yeah, Unless anytime you can have your most successful coach in school history back, you should definitely not want to do yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know what the motivation was there not to have him back, but I don't know. I just I don't feel like Utah State is in a good position right now, although okay. I only gave this two confidence points. Mm -hmm. I went 26. Wow. Holy cow. Yeah, 26. <laughs> As, like, what, nine-point dogs or something like that? I, I just, yeah, I don't even I know like what the it. line was, but, yeah, I, I, I think it's North eight Texas right rolls. Now. Eight. There Mine you go. Eight. That would be my very good dog if we were doing there that. There you today. go. Uh, the Cure Bowl, which last year could be seen on flowfootball.com. I love it. We do not have Louisiana versus Tulane this year, but we will pick the game. Uh, I'm going Louisiana. They got some dudes, not the least of which is their wide receiver, Jamarcus Bradley. He's a legit NFL guy. And that's about all the research I did. I went with a two for Louisiana. Fair. Uh, yeah, I went with a three. I actually took Tulane. Louisiana has just, like, no defense. And so I figured if Tulane can get something on the ground, they can win this. Um, both teams actually played, like, big boys. Mm -hmm. like, Tulane played Ohio State. Uh, Louisiana played Bama. Um, nothing to really draw from those games. But, you know, I can't really divvy it up other than just no defense. And Tulane beat Navy to end the season. Maybe there's something there. Maybe Danny White could reach out to Louisiana and Tulane and figure out how you schedule big teams like that because apparently hmm. he hasn't figured it out yet. I don't know. Uh, I took Tulane with confident points of nine, uh, and it mainly has to do with uh, Tulane burned me earlier in the year uh, when they wore the cool helmets. Yeah. I bet on Memphis because Memphis had won like 13 in a row against them and like covered like 12 of the 13. Right. But I didn't factor in cool helmets. And you, always have you to know that they are going to wear their cool helmets with the mean wave thing on them for the bowl right. game. How disappointed will you be if they run out in their oh, regular old helmet? I'll probably fire off some tweets at them. Just <laughs> let them know. Maybe a strongly worded email. <laughs> then he'll be down um, nine points. 
Yeah, they they have winter like you said they in the season with the winter of navy. They beat Memphis on the year. Also, when did we stop calling Louisiana Lafayette or just call <laughs> Louisiana Lafayette Louisiana? When did that happen? That's a good point. Well, Louisiana Lafayette is going for that. I don't think that Louisiana Monroe is a very big fan of that idea. But basically, Louisiana just it's kind of like if um, if I wanted to start going like by my initials. Yeah. And I just made the decision that like from this point forward I'm RK and I just like talked about myself in the third person that's RK all the time. Eventually maybe it would catch on. That's pretty much what Louisiana's doing. Cuz they just yeah, they're just calling themselves Yeah, Louisiana. all year like on TV or you would just hear Louisiana. I'm like who yeah. the hell's Louisiana? Yeah. They did they just decided they're just going to do it regardless of what Monroe thinks. I hate it. And, that is a shot to Monroe. Uh Las Vegas Bowl. <clears throat> Arizona State, Fresno State. Bracky, what you got? Uh, I have Fresno State uh, by 20, 23 points, 23 conference points. Um, Bulldogs are really good. And, uh, you know, they go into Boise, win the Mountain West. And, uh, you know, they, ha- they still have something to prove here. We, you know, Gunter hit on it earlier. It's uh, like these bowl games are – what do these teams have to play for? What's their motivation? Right. And for Fresno State, you get to 12 wins – you had another Power Five uh, win to your resume. Like you still have a lot to play for. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Arizona State is isn't the kill here. Not playing. Not playing. Not playing. Right. So give me Fresno State. Yeah, I'm on that train also. I only did ten points, um, but Fresno State's got a top five defense, mm-hmm. and so when you take away Arizona State's best player, I like them a lot too. They're, I mean, I think they're a legit top twenty five team. Well, I'm gonna go against the grain here. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's really a letdown for Fresno State. I mean, they, they're, a, they're a Memphis holding a lead away from playing in a New York Six Bowl, and now they're playing in, on December 15th. So I, I agree with you on the motivation, but I just wonder, like, the human element comes into play. You realize that you could have been in the Fiesta Bowl, and now you're playing in the Las Vegas Bowl. Uh, I don't know if that has a negative impact on them, but also, like, even without Nikhil Harry, Arizona State is – should be at least more talented across the board just mm-hmm. given you know the difference in recruiting and i feel like if manny wilkins is on which again fresno state great defense and that's not a guarantee but if manny wilkins is on i think arizona state has enough dudes to overwhelm uh fresno state in that situation how many points uh, i went six okay yeah i'm that's not getting wild with her thing, but. <laughs> it's not like herm edwards is like not going to be pumped up that guy, yeah I mean, that guy's psyched <laughs> for every game. absolutely i mean herm would be he yeah, he's going to Pumped about whatever. And obviously, it's his first bowl game as a coach at Arizona State. They want to win uh, their last game of the year and kind of ride that momentum into the recruiting season. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I don't know actually how to say this word, but the next bowl game is the, <laughs> the Camellia Bowl. Am I saying that right? I think so. Can I get a ruling? I don't know. Ca- Camellia don't know. or Camellia? Camellia. Camella. In any event, Georgia Southern is playing Eastern Michigan in this bowl game I've never heard of. Uh, I'm going Georgia Southern. Because they low key have like some of the best uniforms in college football, mm. so three confidence points in Georgia Southern and their cool uniforms. Cool, right. like classic. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not Oregon, but I like it. How many points? Uh, three. Three. Yeah, I'm on four points for this one that we can't pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I actually took Eastern Michigan. Um, I wanted to take Georgia Southern, just you know, that's where I'm from. Um, but Eastern Michigan's won five out of six. And they've held their last three opponents to 34 points total. So a pretty decent defense with three or four weeks to prepare for the option. I like Eastern Michigan. I took Georgia Southern in this one. Um, I had their season over win total, which uh-huh. was only like six, and they hit nine. So that was nice. Wow. Very nice. Um, and I'm going to ride with them again, eight points. Okay. God, you, got, you got some high point total. Well, not high, but higher than expected, I feel mm-hmm. like, on some of these. Yeah, uh, I probably do. <laughs> The New Orleans Bowl will feature Middle Tennessee State and Appalachian State. Appalachian or Appalachian? What do you prefer? Ooh, I like Appalachian. Appalachian. Yeah, that's what I go with yep. as well. Uh, Appy. App, Appy State. App State. Uh, obviously, they lost Scott Satterfield to Louisville, mm-hmm. and that does worry me. But I think App State is easily the better team. So I went App State with 22 confidence points. Would have been higher if Satterfield was still there, but... Yeah, that, that's exactly what I have written down in my notes. I want, you know, I want to bet against that with Scott Satterfield gone, but mm-hmm. I just think <clears throat> App State, they won five in a row. They're better across the board. You know, we saw them at the beginning of the year against Penn State. They're a tough team. 
Um, well, one thing I didn't know that I thought was pretty interesting is Middle Tennessee State has a father-son duo for mm-hmm. coach quarterback. I didn't know that. Which I, I should have known that because their last name is not like Stock generic still, at all. Right? Yeah. yeah. So that would have been a cool story too. And they're six and zero against the spread second half of the year. Fun wow. fact. But mm, App State's better. Uh, how many points? Eleven. Eleven. I went high with this one as well. Thirty-one. Um, <laughs> I'm going for the win, guys. Um, <laughs> We're gonna get to the end of yeah. this, and he's gonna be like, "I have one confidence point on Clemson over Notre Dame." <laughs> exactly. No, no. <laughs> uh, he just I mean, kept going just, up. He's like sixty <laughs> points. They're just Silence a better, works. better team. Um, and I, I actually did a little research on this one. Hey. Uh, I read an article. I cannot remember who the player was. He was a starter on defense, but it was essentially like, "We're gonna go out there and prove that, like, it was us playing." You know, it was, mm-hmm. like Satterfield did a good job coaching, but it was us that was out there making the plays. So I think they're going to be out there trying to make a statement. There you go. 